Well, hey everybody, Mr. Reeves back with you, and in this video, we're going to be doing a review of slope intercept form of a linear equation in two variables. All right, so this is something we learned already this year, but I wanted to go back and review it because we're going to be graphing inequalities, uh, linear inequalities in two variables. So I thought it'd be good to go back and review this before we did that. All right, so remember, slope intercept form is a form. In fact, the most common form we use for a linear equation. And it is in this form, y equals mx plus b. All right, and m, remember, stands for the slope. That's the steepness of the line, or the pitch of the line, as they sometimes say. And b is the y-intercept. That is where the line crosses the y-axis. And remember, for every y-intercept, x is equal to 0. So b is the value of y when x is equal to 0. m, again, is the slope or the steepness of the line. Remember, we read slope from left to right. If a line goes up from left to right, it has a positive slope. And if a line goes down from left to right, it has a negative slope. All right, so that's what we just talked about. The slope here is m, and b is the y-intercept. 0b. So if you take a look at this line they have right here, you can see this line crosses the y-axis at 1. So the y-intercept is 1. Notice the x value is 0. And the slope is 2 because it rises 2 and runs 1. Remember, slope is rise over run or vertical change over horizontal change. So up 2 over 1, rise 2, run 1, rise 2, right 1, up 2 over one. Okay, so first thing we wanted to be able to do is recognize slope and y-intercept in an equation, and then the second thing we want to be able to do is graph a line in slope-intercept form. All right, so if you take a look at this first example here, what is the slope of the line represented by 5x minus 7? Well, that's not too bad at all. The slope is 5. Remember, y equals mx plus B. All right, next one. What is the slope in this one? Now you're going, wait, there's no number there. But remember, if there is not a coefficient in front of a variable, that coefficient is 1. 1. There we go. All right, what is the y-intercept? Well, y equals mx plus b. Notice it's minus 11, so it's going to be negative 11. All right, so the y-intercept itself is actually negative 11. As an ordered pair, remember, for every y-intercept, x equals 0. So this is the one we're looking for, 0, negative 11. All right y equals 4x, the y-intercept on that one. Now notice, it's y equals mx. If I asked you what the slope was, it would be 4. There is no y-intercept written there. The b is not there, which means that b is 0. b is 0. So 0, 0, the y-intercept is 0. But remember, for every y-intercept, x equals 0. So in this case, it's the origin that is the y-intercept. All right, they tried to trick you on this one. They switched the order around. Remember, it's y equals mx plus b, but they put b minus mx. All right, so the slope here would be negative 8. The y-intercept would be 1. So the slope we're looking for, again, is negative 8. Negative 8. Awesome possum. All right, which lines have a y-intercept of 0, 4? Again, the y-intercept itself is just the 4 part, but for every y-intercept, x is equal to 0. So if you take a look at that one, that one has a y-intercept of 4. This one has a slope of 4, but not a y-intercept of 4. This one also has a slope of 4. By the way, the y-intercept on this one is 7. The y-intercept on this one is 5. The y-intercept on this one is 4. Again, they switched the order around. All right, but the y-intercept is 4, and the slope would be a negative 1. Okay. All right. How do we find the slope of a line given in a slope intercept form? The slope is the first number that appears in the equation? No. The slope is the coefficient of x regardless of the order. Whoops, it helps Mr. Ease if you actually choose an answer. All right, take a look at these. Which one could be the equation of the line? Well, let's see. It has a negative slope. It's going 
down, so it's going to have to be one of these two. And the y-intercept is positive, right? If you look at this one, it's got a negative slope and a negative y-intercept, so this is the only possible one. Again, these two can't work because they have a positive slope. All right, this one looks like it would have the right y-intercept, but unfortunately, it does not have the right slope. Okay. All right, write an equation of a line whose slope is 10 and whose y-intercept is 0, negative 20. So y equals 10x minus 20, 10x minus 20. All right, so that is recognizing slope and y-intercept. Of course, we want to be able to graph them as well. So to do that, I'm going to skip over to the IXL skill where they ask us to graph it, all right? I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so we can actually see the entire thing. Here we go. Y equals 1 8 X plus two. All right, click to select points on the graph. Now remember, when you're graphing in slope intercept form, you need two points to make a graph of a line. You start with the Y intercept. The Y intercept is two. So I put a point on two, and the slope is one eighth. Remember, that's rise over run, vertical change over horizontal change. So I'm going to go up one, that's my rise, and then over eight. All right, so you see that? I went up one and over eight. That should be my line, y equals one eighth x plus Two. All right, what about this next one? Y equals negative X plus 9. Now remember, when there's no coefficient there, it's a 1. All right, so that means as a fraction, it's 1 over 1, but it's negative. All right, so I'm going to start at my Y-intercept of 9, and then my slope is negative 1. So I'm going to go down 1 and over 1 down one and over one. Of course, I could do this forever. It really doesn't matter which of these points I pick. I just need to make sure my slope has a negative one slope. Down one, right one, down one, right one, down one, right one. Whoops, whoops, I accidentally grabbed it. Okay, let's try that again. Quick, get the answer in before it changes its mind. Okay, what about this one? Three, negative three X minus seven. Again, I'm gonna start with the Y intercept. Okay, and then the slope, remember slope is a fraction, right? It's rise over run. If they don't put it as a fraction, you just put the denominator as one. So it tells me I'm gonna go down one, two, three, and right one. There we go, there's my slope of negative three. All right, let me do one more, negative four X minus six. Again, my Y intercept is negative six. My slope is negative 4, which is the same as negative 4 over 1. Remember, negative slopes have to go down and right. Positive slopes are going to go up and right. So I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1. You can see my slope down 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1, and there we go. All right, so that is a review of slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b.